Right, I've been uh, trying to think of a practical use for this. Now, uh, at the moment, I've got a uh, solar cell here, of which uh, I've taken the back off, and I've uh, I've put a mobile phone battery inside it, charging up on a diode, and you can just leave this on the shelf. And basically, it comes out with uh, two connectors or uh, USB connector there, as you can see. So you can charge anything that's USB up with it. Now, uh, uh, I've been thinking that's pretty dim at the moment, so, but I've got a uh, 1K resistor across it. Now, if I take that off and then put it directly on it, you'll see how much more brightness you can get out of it. It definitely does make a difference. Now, uh, I took that reason into uh, an, an ordinary uh, light that we got here that's uh, got five LEDs inside it. Now if I was to turn this over now, now I've been wiring up the electronics. Now, uh, the coil I've made, uh, in comparison to that one, is about four or five times bigger and I've, I've used a TIP 32C transistor and just a 1K resistor. Now, uh, if I was to show you this, uh, which is the wire, I think it's this one. If we were to turn that on, then you can see that uh, we're getting quite a considerable amount of light out of that. If I was to uh, Turn the lights out there and just let you see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back together again and then turn the lights out and uh, show you uh, how much light it does actually put out. So, I'll do that now. So, what I've got here is a uh, almost a fringe product. I've glued the coil in, I've encased the uh, Resistor there, so it won't uh, catch on anything. Transistor has been glued on. Uh, I've glued the battery in place. I've glued the uh, the diode, the charging diode, and the two charging leads that come out. So when it's in operation, you can touch these two together, and uh, it doesn't short out the light. And I've just left with the uh, switch to do now. So I'm just going to put the casing back on it. So I've got the uh, the light now with the uh, charging leads coming out and this is going to be our on off switch for now. So if I switch that on and then switch out these lights and also switch out these lights you'll start to see what I mean. But, uh, Right now, quite a considerable bit of light, so you'd probably be able to work to that kind of light. If I just fix it in one position, so I've just got that up there. I think that's a quite good little project, and what I'm going to do. is I'm going to hook it up to the solar panel to charge it and I'm going to see how long or if we can get it to run continuously uh, from the solar panel that's charging the battery up inside it I'll give you a shot of that now you can see this is as it will be working and uh, obviously I've got to put the switch on but uh, I want to leave it running, to be honest. And at the moment we've got 4.07 volts inside that solar cell because uh, it's been charging up a 3.7 volt battery, which usually uh, sits at about 4.1 volts when they're full. And obviously that's going to get kept on the uh, the window cell. 
and hopefully because this battery is going to charge during the day this one's going to dissipate during the day and then when this isn't charging it's going to charge this one up that's great then I'll uh, show a uh, circuit diagram at the end and thanks for watching For those of you who have been asking for uh, stills of um, the circuit inside the video, there's a good oh, 5 or 10 seconds you can pause it on. That's great. Just to give you a quick view inside the, uh, the solar cell, what I've done is I've put a 3.7 volt 900 milliamp uh, battery there. I'm considering putting two there to make this uh, 8 volts that it charges up to to make sure that uh, we've got uh, additional voltage to charge the uh, 3.7 volts uh, lamp so uh, all I've done really is uh, hook up a diode straight to the positive and then from the negative to the negative and then a 5 volt zener diode straight round to the USB socket. That's great then.